So down here, this hallway is our kindergarten wing. So our three kindergarten classrooms are down here. They'd be coming in through the front entrance. The key is the cohort model. So our first grade students will come in the back entrance in the morning um, and they will leave at the end of their day, same spot. So in our building, for example, our first graders are gonna be in a completely different part of the building than our kindergarten cohort and completely separate place than our preschool cohort. And they'll have their own entrances, which is a big key. They'll have their own exits. They'll eat their lunches in their rooms. So that's a big change. Normally, kids are flowing through the building throughout the day. In those common areas, hallways, as kids exit or are entering into classrooms, that they're staying on one side or the other of a hallway and maintaining those distancing procedures or protocols while in the hallway. And it's actually not different than normal for our students. We typically tend to have kids walk off of the wall, but not in the center of the space. Well, the only thing we'll have to reinforce or teach is the spacing within the line if everybody is moving at once somewhere. Normally, like in this room, you would see two of these desks put together with four kids around it because they're oftentimes doing collaborative uh, activities or tasks where they want the students facing each other. Under normal circumstances, you could put two kids side by side, but now it'll just be one. They'll have their own bathrooms. Our, our kindergarten rooms, we're fortunate in that each room has its own bathroom. Preschool will be in their own, like I said, own section of the building. They'll have their own restroom. Same with first grade. So it's the key is again with that cohort model is everything is inclusive to that cohort in terms of the facilities, in terms of the bathroom, who they see, where they go. Kids are very malleable. They'll adjust to the situation pretty easily. So, I mean, the separation though for the youngest kids within the room, kids, especially five, six-year-olds, are used to touch. They're used to being close to each other, to play, and to kind of encourage them to keep that space. We're gonna have to do a lot of teaching into that. For parents, that is really important that we communicate, that we manage expectations in the sense that, yeah, it's not gonna be normal operating procedures. The, the classroom environment is going to look different. And so we'll wanna partner with families to help their students understand what it's gonna look like when they come in the building, that they will need to be distanced from other students, that they will need to wear a mask um, unless they're you know, eating or drinking. So these are things that we will need to partner with their parents to just kind of, essentially help us do the job of reintegrating students into a school or classroom. Learn more about in-person learning and health and safety protocols at seattleschools.org forward slash resources.